This weekend, the Euro 2024 quarterfinals will officially kick off with four tense matches to find the worthy names for the semifinals. Nothing is more remarkable than the clash between the host Germany and the best performing team in this tournament, Spain. A match full of charm and promise to bring football fans a well-prepared feast, as these are also the two brightest candidates for the championship title. In today's video, let's talk about the most anticipated quarterfinal match of this Euro. Which team is rated higher in this battle? In terms of strength, there is no difference between the two teams in the match at 23 third on Friday, July 5th. Both Germany and Spain have convincingly passed the round of 16. If the host defeated a relatively uncomfortable Denmark with a score of 2 to 0, then La Roja did even better when they decoded the image of Croatia, advancing to the quarterfinals in a way that blurred the lines for football fans. Throughout the group stage, apart from the final match, which was a bit difficult against the Swiss team, the Matadors are still showing their strength. This is a far cry from what they showed in the friendly matches before the tournament. Coach Julian Nagelsmann has found his ideal squad with a combination of youth and experience. The return of Toni Kroos plays an extremely important role in Germany's game, and the star who has just won the UEFA Champions League with Bayern Munich is also determined to have the last big achievement in his career with the German team. That's why we saw how well the 1990-born midfielder connected the midfield with the power of Robert Lewandowski and the dynamism of Ilkay Gundogan. But this created favorable conditions for the young duo Jamal Muziala and Florian Wirtz to continuously disrupt the opponent's defense. Kai Havertz is starting to show his worth. Flexible attack with a midfield capable of good recovery and ball distribution is Germany's strength at the tournament, taking place on their home ground. As for the defense, Manuel Neuer still proves to everyone that he deserves to be the number one goalkeeper of the team, despite how well his juniors have played at the club level. Meanwhile, Antonio Rudiger is also gradually bringing peace of mind and in the upcoming quarterfinal match, the return of Jonathan Ta will help Germany's defense become more solid and withstand the power from Spain. As for the opponent, perfect is what we can call them at the moment. Although goalkeeper Unai Simon had to pick up the ball from the net for the first time in this tournament, it was also an own goal, as defender Aymeric Laporte put his name on the scoreboard. Otherwise, Spain's attack has shown its absolute power, with a combination of youth and experience. Nico Williams had a goal for himself, while Alvaro Morata continued to show his composure when he had an assist for Fabian Ruiz, along with many ball-handling situations that made the opponent's defense suffer. On the other side, Alvaro Morata also did his job well by constantly attracting the attention of the opponent's defense, creating space for the two wings to show off their individual techniques and strengths. The editor, with a rotary registration of his class, also helped Spain deploy extremely effective gameplay. To push the short passes and coordination that made the brand has helped La Rosa always maintain its good shape. Meanwhile, in the defense, the experience of Daniel Cavahan or Emiric Laporte helped make Botas' back four extremely solid. Under the debt of these two teams in major tournaments, there are always a lot of significant numbers, closest being the 1-1 draw in the group stage of the World Cup for Day 2. And if we count the tournaments in the knockout round, La Rosa is having a better record with two wins in the 2010 World Cup semi-finals and the Euro 2008 final. This is the basis for Spain to believe that they will make the home team embrace hatred. If we go further and specialize in history, these two teams have met a total of 26 times, with a fairly balanced result. Germany have 9 wins, while Spain have 8 and the remaining 9 draws. In fact, with what the two teams have shown in the past, it is difficult for us to determine which name has the advantage in terms of head-to-head -head history. But if we count the last 10 matches, Germany only got 2 wins, while La Rosa, 4. So with the last meeting in the group stage of the 2022 World Cup, 
someone, the two teams will also understand each other's play better. But with the change in the cause of governance, when there is no Shonike or Hansi Flick anymore, then obviously we won't be able to rely on the results in Qatar to talk about the upcoming match at the Euro 2024 final. This is understandable, even though most of the players remain the same as they were nearly two years ago. Finally, let's try to predict the scenario of the upcoming match. Spain will certainly make the most of the home team's left corridor, where Maximilian or David Rote not yet brought peace of mind compared to the opposite side, where Joshua Kimmich still maintains stability. Lamin Yaman will definitely make the German side miserable, and if exploited well, Luis de la Fuente will have a chance to continue. Blocking La Rosa's young squad will help the home team solve most of the opponent's attacking power. At the same time, the land battle promises to be decisive for the face of the upcoming match. Tony Cruz of Miro 3 will be important links in deploying the game. At the same time, the surrounding satellites will also have to operate at full capacity if they want to create an advantage for themselves. The home field advantage will definitely be a symbolic point to help Germany towards the semi-final ticket. True to Spain, they are showing the strength of the destroyer, but they are not without weaknesses. So, meeting a strong and determined opponent, like the tanks will be a test for the bravery of La Rosa's young stars. The pressure from the home crowd will also be a challenge, and with these advantages, Julian Nagelsmann's replacement can think about victory. If Germany can successfully neutralize Botot's flanks, their chances of winning will be very high, otherwise, the duo of Lamin Yaman and Nico Williams will punish their defense. Meanwhile, the young duo of Jamal Muziala and Florian Wirtz will also promise to create a formidable counterweight to the opponent, especially the Bayern Munich star. He is having an excellent tournament, having contributed greatly to the team's achievement. After much anticipation, the first dream final has finally been revealed. Spain and Germany will be the two names that guarantee drama, excitement, and flair. A lavish feast of football has been laid out and will begin at 11 p.m. on Friday, July 5th, the MHP Arena Stadium.